All right, we're back with another battle report. This time, Dystopian Wars got French taking on <laughs> FSA. Um, what, 950 points? Yes. Something like that. Yeah. yeah. All right. French are captained by Son of Horus here. You want to tell us about your fleet? Uh, I've got a couple of subs. Yep. Uh, the subs are bombards are going to start the games uh, on the surface. Uh, the Charlemagne Dreadnought uh, with just the turrets and everything. This also has a cloud generator. Uh, a couple of interceptors. The carrier also has a cloud generator. The um, battleship with the heat lance in the front with a cloud generator. The three cruisers uh, in the air with retardant armor. I have a wing of torpedo bombers and just one little recon fighter over here. Okay. And over on the FSA side, what do we got? Uh, basically your standard fleet composition plus a dreadnought. So yep. three frigate groups, a battleship, a cruiser group, two fighter wings, and a dreadnought and my bomber squad. Bomber squad. All right. All right. And we'll pick it up at the end of turn one. Vive la France. Vive la mort. <laughs> All right, we're back at the end of turn one. What happened? Uh, nothing much. The French are doing what we do. We're hiding behind the mountain right now. Moving up. Uh, oh. Just moving on up slowly. Uh, both the fighter wings burn some fuel to get their maximum range. <laughs> yep. Um, <laughs> any game card action? Uh, I played uh, Broken Code at the beginning of the game and yep. trashed two of his, take like the two best cards in his hand, so I feel like I've got a leg up on that okay. right away. What about the FSA side of things here? Um... Moving through, right now we're just both sides are jostling for position. Um, he's obviously relying on recon to get some indirect fire in. And that's going to be a goal for me to... I'm going to have to get rid of that recon flyer. That's my goal. Okay. All right, we'll pick it up at the end of turn two. Give me the front. All right, picking up the action at the end of turn two. Quite a bloody turn. What happened with the French? Uh, a lot. Dead. Uh, you notice the cruisers are gone. My recon plane is conspicuous by his absence over here. Yeah. Uh, I was I managed to put a hole and a fire token on his dreadnought, and he repaired the fire token, of course. Yep. With shots from the Charlemagne. Right. Uh, torpedo bombers uh, turned tail and bugged out. Okay. Get away from all those fighter jets so before I die. Not a and whole lot of. Like the interceptors are going to head French. that way and shoot some planes down. FSA, what happened? Um. He came up over the hill. I was able to light him up. I uh, got rid of that recon plane, which I really did not like. I'm happy to see it go. So, um, looking good, though. I might be slightly exposed. We'll see what happens. Turn All right. Three. And to turn three, we'll be back. Be for the frost. All right. Back at the end of turn three, the French dead pile keeps growing. It yeah, sure does. But what have the French accomplished this turn? Um, well, I took out a whole. I took out one of his fighter wings. Yeah. Uh, I took two heat lances to blow up one frigate, oh, so that was always fun. Seems good. Um, but I lost an interceptor in the process of that mess. Yep. I put two damage on my um, right, so Charlemagne, so I'm going to have to minus die some of my heat lances. Fine. Looks my like subs put, are gone. Yeah, you put some damage on this uh, yeah, the, FSA dread. The Dreadnought's got three damage, four crew, and two fire tokens on it now. Seems good. Yeah. All right, what's the plan for the next turn? Um, hopefully I can get... Turn this corner here and start opening up with the heat lances into yep. the big ships and start putting them in the water. All right, FSA. Oh, yep. I'm a little bit out of position, so let's see if I can recover from it. All right, back at the end of four. All right, back at the end of four. More bloody action. What happened on the French side? Um, the Charlemagne took a, a, a massive hit. Uh, took got five hull points on it, so my lances are all minus two now. Thought it was four hull points and five crew. No, it's five full points and four full oh, okay. so far. Yeah. Gotcha. Looks um, like you're still out of position. Yeah, he was able to use a line of frigates to trap me here, so I had to collide, and of course I failed to just run him over. Yeah. And then I had to board him, so he's got me kind of stuck right here. All right. Um, hopefully I can get the initiative so I not get locked in by this little guy, so I can get the corner right. turn finally. And it looks like the FSA dread is just burning away. Hey, yes, I am on fire. A little bit out of position, too. A little bit out of position. It was the trade I had to make to uh, keep him locked in, and I'll take that. Um, Last turn was a bit of a wash, but um, I've done enough damage to his dread that I feel okay about that. I think we're doing okay. All right, we'll be back at the end of five. Vive la France! All right, back at the end of five. Go for it. It's a, uh, it's getting a lot tighter. I finally got the corner turned with the dreadnought. Um, took out 
Uh, his two bombers uh, went a close row a ton of second. Uh, his bombers are gone. I've uh, didn't really do anything to Dreadnought, but I'm starting to sink things, and that's always good since I'm only down to three actual units left. Uh, the carrier was able to take his bombers down uh, with a. One with a heat lance, uh, the other got broadsided. Uh, one of them got critted and teleported to here. Then I act act him and teleported him to here before he decided to blow up. So that was a pretty cool thing to see happen. Um, but I'm finally getting the corner turn. So once I get the corner turn, I think I'm sitting in a good position. All right, FSA. Only three of them. Oh, yeah, I, I kind of like my position. Um, we traded shots. Uh, right now I'm a slow bleed, and the way I'm bleeding, I'm okay. I keep getting frigates in the way. Of his ships, and it's really preventing him from bringing full fire um, on board. That's been very useful. Uh, my dreadnought's now position has been my um, battleship hasn't been able to get into fight, but neither has his. So this is this is going to be an important um, turn. It's been a game of very very big turns. All right, well, we'll be back at the end of six. Hey, right, back at the end of six. More bloody action. Uh, the Charlemagne's finally got the corner turned. Uh, got some broadsides off. We sunk. One of the cruisers. <laughs> yep. Um, uh, this just in, shielding the entire squad is stupid. Um, the Dreadnought hit the island, turned around, but I put damage on it with the um, something. I think yeah. it was this. Right. Um, uh, the two wings I launched last turn spin a lot of shots on one frigate and they all fall down. Uh, but his frigates are gone, so he can't block me in with those anymore. So now that I'm getting the corner turned, it's going to be a different game. Okay, FSA. Yeah, unless I pull something so stupid out here, I'm. Uh, I think I am toast. All right, we'll pick it up after. Beware the frost. <laughs> pick it up after turn six. End of another exciting turn here. Ugh, some... oh, God. Um, <laughs> Start us off. Uh, the Dreadnought came up. I got broadsides off again. I've put four damage on his uh, on his Dreadnought, uh, the yep. Charlemagne. We've taken out the cruisers over here. The Charlemagne took out two of them. Yep. Um, and then he, in what was really the coolest moment of the day, he tried to board me and almost crewed me. I mean, the one guy before my torpedo bombers came in there and sunk that last cruiser. Right. And why, um, why was that fight ironic, Mr. FSA player? Because I had a car that would have won it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, some damage on your carrier, though, now? Yeah, some damage on the carrier. Uh, another damage on the Charlemagne. It's only got one crew left. I've still got the the battleship. Still got All right, and we got an undamaged FSA battleship lurking in the back there. All right, we'll be back on what is probably going to be the last turn. Yeah. All right, more bloody action. What happened? Uh, no, you notice the Charlemagne dreadnought. is sitting on the island now because it got crewed by his dreadnought. Yep. And so and prized. Uh, the carrier is in flames. Yep. Uh, it has no crew anymore on it. I really hope I get to go first so I don't have to lose that too and just lose the game because of poor dice. Um, but the battleship is still going strong and we yep. took out. Uh, we put some damage on the on his dreadnought, but of course his battleship is still free and clear back there in the back, yep. hiding like a little sissy. Okay. Anything you want to contribute, Mr. Uh, you know what? Fine. I'm a sissy. I'm a sissy who crewed something. Um, it's, it's looking good. Okay. Um, always this thing has come down to it gets initiative. It's become a big deal. That makes it a good game. Good games are good. All right. We'll be back on the last turn. All right. End of another bloody turn. Tables are turning a bit. Just, yeah, just go. She might think that. So. Uh, I've got... Three torpedo bombers and battleship is all that's left. Yep. Uh, the FSA dread boarded and captured another prize. Yeah, it's pretty much over unless I can find some way to get rid of the, the dreadnought this turn. Right, right. All right, we'll pick it up here in this uh, very last turn. All right, quick recap. Uh, I lost initiative in this turn and scooped. Oh, okay. Nothing has happened. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing even moved. <laughs> So the French lost a close one. The French lost a real close one. That was tight. Yeah. All right, we'll be back with another battle report later.